Oh yeah, sneak away, start looking like you're behaving. Oh yeah. Just been staring at me for the past 10 minutes. Because I've got my coffee and my cinnamon bun. So the cinnamon bun was one of my accidental recipes. I think I might call it a snickerdoodle muffin and I actually recorded it and put it up. I've just literally gotten up and got dressed, so no makeup. Just pulled my hair back and I'm wearing full new Gymshark, apart from the hoodie, this is Nikki B, but this is all new. Because I want to just get my breakfast into me, my mini breakfast as I like to call it, and then I'm going to hit the gym, get it over and done with because my masseuse is coming at midday and I want to have my training done before then so she can massage all the soreness out of me. What we do here is go back, 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 back. gym that was a killer gluten hamstring workout so let me know if you do it and how sore you are the next day because I'm already feeling sore and I'm so glad that Rebecca Armasus is coming in about a half hour because I'm gonna need her to work on my glutes now on my lower back because I can really really feel it but I'm having one of my egg white omelettes they're the best I love them so as you can see I've had a shower and washed my hair and I had my massage earlier, I had my breakfast, all that kind of jazz. It's now 5 p.m. and to be honest, I've just spent the whole day lounging on the sofa feeling exhausted, like beyond exhausted. I've been very lucky because I've been dieting for 22 weeks. I suppose it's only gotten quite strict the past, um, the past 12 weeks or so and today is probably the first day I've felt absolutely just shattered and really lacking in energy I just want to like get back into bed to be honest so I just didn't feel like vlogging and I don't like being negative and it isn't negative it's just the reality of what I'm doing I'm in a deficit I'm not eating a lot of food um, I'm eating just enough to maintain my muscle and to try and shed the fat. I'm doing cardio, not huge amounts of cardio, but I am doing cardio and it's obviously burning through the calories that I am consuming. So 
it is hard. It isn't. I think if I was in a regular nine to five job, I would be finding it quite difficult. Sorry, I know I am sitting here in my underwear because I am going to do a quick physique update for you guys. So don't be thrown by me sitting here like a weirdo. I don't usually lounge around my house in my underwear. But just like doing, like I have to do everything I normally do. I have to record my vlogs, I have to edit them, I have to go to the gym, I have to do laundry, I have to make the food and it is just tiring and I don't know how. A shout out to all the mums out there that do competitions because I seriously, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you could do it and be looking after a family. Like I'm looking after Lex and two dogs and I find it tiring and like particularly today, but I just don't know how a regular mum could go and like do everything that they do. Maybe have a job as well and then also diet. And I do know one of my friends from Ireland, uh, Phoebe McVeigh. If you have, if you don't follow her, go and follow her. She's amazing. She's like top, she's one of the top bikini competitors in Ireland. She has two kids and she runs her own business. And the fact that she can do it all and get in the condition that she gets in, like she looks insane guys. So um, check her out or Instagram or whatever, cause she looks phenomenal. And I just don't know how she does it. I don't. I suppose that'll be a challenge that I'll have to set myself in the future when I have kids of my own that, um, I'll try and compete while being a mum and see if I can do it. I just thought I'd fill you in just like on how I'm feeling because I know I am very positive and like to uh, portray a very positive image of what I'm doing because it is, it is fun. I love seeing the changes in my body. I love seeing what I can achieve and I do only have three and a half weeks left till the competition. And I am choosing to do it myself. No one's forcing me to do it. It's just something that I've challenged myself to do and I'm doing it and I suppose I'm very proud of myself for what I'm doing. And Lex is very proud of me and I know all you guys are really proud of me for just setting myself the challenge and actually seeing it through because I've tried to do poor and I failed. But this time I am succeeding and I am looking really good and most of the time I'm feeling really good. It's just today I'm just feeling exhausted. But I think it's just after having my mum over at the weekend and then I had to do a lot of work on Monday just to catch up on work that I missed because she was here and then cooking dinner for all the people on Sunday and just entertaining. And I, I suppose the weekend was just a little bit more tiring than I'm used to. So yeah, I'd say that's just caught up with me now and I'm just feeling quite exhausted. I just want to update you guys as well. Today I weighed in at 112.6. Yesterday I was 112.2 and I've been up um, at the weekend after my high carb phase, which is completely normal. I always go up a pound. And last week my lowest weigh in was 112. So I am 0.6 pounds up today from my lowest weigh in last week. But I kind of feel it today that I am going to be down tomorrow. I'm feeling very lean and I weighed in I weighed myself again just before my shower and I was only 113 pounds and normally throughout the day I can put on like two pounds or whatever so the fact that I'm only 0.4 of a pound up halfway through the day I think is indicative of maybe some weight loss tomorrow but we'll see. I feel like I'm getting very lean, my legs are getting very lean which is nice to see because I always struggle to get my legs to come through. My upper body obviously is always very very lean. Right now I want to show you guys how I do a vacuum. It's something that I've been doing on my Insta stories. Some people don't like it because they think it's promoting an unhealthy body image or unhealthy, you know, eating or something like that. But you know what guys, it totally isn't. It's just the same as someone having a double jointed pump. I've always been able to do vacuums. It's not something that I've had to work at or had to diet for. It's just something that comes very naturally to me. It's just a freaky talent I have. So I just wanted to show you guys because it is my freaky talent. It's like my, my pub trick that I can vacuum quite significantly. And I honestly don't know where my organs go when it, I, when it happens. So what the process is, is that I breathe in and I suppose I lift my diaphragm while breathing in and um, I just make my muscles in my abdomen concave. So I just suck them in and my waist goes tiny. I've always been able to do this. I used to be able to as well push my tummy out really far, but I can't really do that as much as I used to be able to. I think it's because I train abs now. Cause when I was a kid, it was obviously just like my untrained abdominal muscles, but now, um, my muscles are trained in my abs, so I think it's more difficult for me to push them out 
as opposed to suck them in is a little bit easier but yeah it's just my pub trick so it's not really anything unhealthy so don't freak out don't have a go at me try it at home maybe you're able to do it too maybe everyone can do it but some people actually do train for a very long time to be able to do these vacuums a lot of men because it bring it does cinch in your waist when you train your muscles to be able to come in like that so maybe that's why i have a small waist i don't know here we have my normal tummy and then when we vacuum one two three It's just a freaky talent guys and then if I can push it out with her that's as far as I can push it out so that's me just normal but I used to be able to do like full-on pregnancy belly but I can't do that now I've lost that talent I'll do a quick physique update so that you can see what the rest of me looks like I'm going to go now and get dressed because honestly I do not cruise around my house in my underwear but I'm going to go get dressed and just chill out for the evening because I am seriously exhausted so I'm going to leave the vlog here I hope you enjoyed it if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the video obviously give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about vacuums or anything else in the world just hit me up in the comments below I always answer you back love you guys Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turned to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.